I'm Forrest Blake. I'm the founder of High Rise, and it's always exciting to see familiar faces and some new ones. So being in business development and commercial real estate for 33 years, you know, I knew I wanted to be, I wanted to network. Uh, and I knew that building in building high rise, I wanted to build a network that fit within my commercial real estate. And that's why you see what you see, top professionals, uh, small groups, uh, national reach, uh, an industry focused verticals. Anita just did her marketing or was on the marketing vertical. Um, and then, you know, online access to find partners that can really help you to grow your business. Just like when you invite somebody out to play golf, I happen to be a golfer. Um, I'm not gonna talk about business until they ask me about business. Right. So it's, it's it, you know, we, it, it's very important to be patient. Uh, and, and just like in any sort of sales situation, you wouldn't ask somebody for money until you knew that you, they trusted you, they knew the product was good. Same thing here. What you want to do is develop that interpersonal relationship. You want to talk to them about their family, their interest. You want to take them to lunch. You want to uh, work on a project with them if it's within a nonprofit. Um, ask them where, 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 where they donate. You know, what, where, what is their interest? And once you've found that connection, then there'll be a point when you'll know when there's the bridge. Uh, so the way I look at it is, is it's those other board members are the people that you're going to be doing business with. And then I, I think just a fundamental that we're gonna talk about way later on is it's all about how can you help them or the organization. People watch, they see if you're that guy that's coming in there just to you know, grab the money. You know? um, they know if you're that guy or girl. So don't be that person, develop those relationships. And so, so I think the golfing was a good analogy. So you're saying it's, it's the same concept where you go, you go out, you're not going to get on the board and then, you know, after board meeting, say, hey, I want to pitch you something, right? It's mm -hmm. like just your involvement in being there, you know, eventually if things work out, someone's going to come to you and say, hey, I got something I want to talk to you about. But I agree with you in terms of networking, um, when you're going to get the referrals, you're going to get the, the business that you want when other people really understand what it is that you offer and the clients that you work with best, and also the types of things that don't fit in your wheelhouse. So how do, how do they get to know that? By getting to know you. How do they get to know you? By committing, you know, mm -hmm. by showing up, committing, and sharing mm -hmm. what you do and listening to what they do. Yeah. So delegate everything. So now we've done your time audit. You've gotten into this. Uh, this is actually my staff in the Philippines. Uh, it's bigger now. Uh, we have uh, 18 people on that staff now. This looks like about 12 or 13. But it gives you an idea of, of outsourcing. So, you know, you think about the old days, we'd come back with business cards and we'd put them on the desk for our, our, our <laughs> assistant and say, can you please tell me who this person is, right? Uh, now we do it all virtually, so it's no different. But, yeah. but I think the best thing that I use uh, these folks for is research. They just love to do research. <laughs> I mean, they're so good at it. So Barbara, you want to know everybody that is in Marina Del Rey, that it's a law firm that you want to market to because you just did a deal in that building. They'll come back and give you a list of who those people are. I love that when we first started in this pandemic, a lot of our old school members would say, well, I can't get business on these these virtual calls. But think back, and then another member said, uh, who was an older gentleman, he said, well, think back to when the war times, when people would send letters and develop relationships. Are you kidding me? Are you saying that we can't develop a relationship? We got audio, we got video, we've got chat, we, have, we can send people links, uh, but we have to be able to be a little more expressive. Our language may have to be a little better than it is one-on-one. -on -one. One on one, you can kick back, you can have your coffee, be a little more casual, you have more time. But when you're in a virtual environment, you're going to need to up your game a little bit on your communication skills. But I have, you know, a hundred dollar Logitech webcam. Right. I bought this microphone, so I have really good audio. You know, it's and, like a hundred. Uh, there you go. And this this microphone. Yes. Now the Yeti, okay. right? You know, this is yeah. about $130. It is absolutely worth the investment. Um, 
a lot of my staff have actually, who are IT engineers, they bought um, better headphones and, and a mic like that that hangs from a boom uh, just out of sight, but it's hanging there and they can like sort of easily move it out of the way. I can't emphasize strongly enough how much it's worth it to do that, to have yourself come across uh, looking more presentable. Uh, so I'm gonna, I just popped into the uh, chat there, Calumly, and I know um, it's, an, it's a scheduling software. If you guys don't have something like this, you gotta have it. And uh, thanks everybody for being here. Have a good rest of your day.